just had the headliner board redone and before I put it back in I wanted to make a quick video on the visor clips and how to get them in and out because they're a real bastard. Right here. So as you can see they're pretty basic. It's a straight clip, torque screw goes in and it pulls these down and they pull this out again spread out and clip into the steel roof panel so to actually get it out what you do take the screw out almost as far as it'll go then as you're pulling it out you want to push up on that as much as you can to try and get those sides in work it down till it comes out just a little bit then what I found works and if you care about your car a bit more you probably um, use some actual bodywork tools yet you know this is what I've got sitting here at the moment it's not really a screwdriver but close enough for this demo you should have enough space to get this into there so then you can use that to push up on that clip and it'll pull down on the thing so it'll focus you can get one of those up in there in the roof of course just in here get that end out and then slide it out nice and easy so the next thing to show you is the clip off the other side one of these as you can see look up there that steel clip is where it came from what you need is a small focus you need a small flathead screwdriver probably about three mil across just bear with me for a sec all right come in here Pull that out. Just be careful because this little thing here is spring loaded. You don't want to lose that. Oops. I'm about one handed. Pull that out. And you can see the spring sits inside there, pushes on that. So if you're not careful, that'll fall out and go shooting off to Timbuk too. Just watch that when you're taking it out. Actually, I tell a lie, so while I'm at it, I'll do the whole thing. You know, more information in the world is better. Easiest part of the whole thing is getting the back out, which is just held on by three little squares of Velcro, and that sits um, just across here in the back of the roof. So, next thing to take out is grab handles, which can come from up here. As you can see in this one, there is one clip still in the car, and one clip I've pulled out just for this demo, so you can see how it goes together, it sits in there. You pull it out like this, then when you're putting it in, I suggest you reassemble it like this, because it makes life much easier to just push the whole thing back in. Like they did at the factory. Right, so this is pretty simple as well, similar to the, I guess, clips on the, um, what do you call them? Sun visors. Let's get a screwdriver in here. You might have to... This will be hidden behind this bit of rubber trim. You'll have to peel the rubber back down. Slide. Get in there. Slide this out. This way. Like this. Comes out. And then the handle will just slide off there. When you're getting these things out, there's two, I don't know if you can see, right here we are, so there's two little tabs up the top hooked in there, so if you push down on those, you probably want to use a screwdriver, do the one on the wall side first, that'll pop out, you get this clip, try not to lose it, and then when you want to put that back in, 
So you should go, and I've put this on the wrong one, that's all right. You can just push that whole thing up in there and it'll go back in like that in one go. Nice and easy. Yeah, so once you take out that little clip, pull the handle out, then this thing just slides out of here. No tools, nothing. Easy. And it only goes in one way. There's two, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on this camera, there it is. There's two tiny little tabs go into two little slots in here. So this thing only goes in one way, so you can't stuff it up when you're putting it back together. You'll see they you know, if you sit down in those grooves there. That's it. It has no grub handle, just these plastic clips. They're really easy to get out. Don't need to do anything fancy. Just get in there, gently pull on them. Might be a bit harder than this because I just sat it in there. It'll come out, it's just a clip like that. Yeah, just gently pull on it, it'll come out. Be careful. You know the go. The grab handles are essentially identical to the front ones, except they've got a line in the middle. But same procedure, peel back the, um, get in there. Don't have to peel back the rubber trim actually. Um, get in there, pull out that clip, slide the handle out on both of them then this will just if you're careful it'll drop down and just watch out for the connectors on the back they don't clip into anything they just sit there it's all supported by the grub handle you also need to pull off all these bits of trim just peel them back a little bit they've just got little clips they're fine just get your fingers in there pull them out they'll come loose no worries, they're pretty straightforward. The same applies for the um, B pillar trim. Just pull it off. But when you do go to reassemble it, you have to watch out. So don't do what I did the first time. As you can see if I pull this down. This one is actually missing some little bits off the arm. Um, try and get that to can't handle the contrast. Um, this one's actually missing a couple of little bits off the seatbelt mount. You have to make sure that everything is realigned so that this little trim piece aligns with where the um, seatbelt actually is at the time. How do we do this? There it is. Otherwise, if you try and force it on there and those two aren't nice and neatly lined up, you can see these little bits need to clip onto those. You'll break something off. The bit to come out is not this piece of foam, which should be up there, something like that. That's just support for the roof liner. So you know you push up against it and it feels strong. People don't like flimsy feeling cars. Right. Um, so this is the center console light. Um, you know, interior reading light it will come out with the roof panel and then you'll climb up you know climb up look at it from this way when you've got the roof panel hanging down and there's a couple of little metal clips on the back there just push those in that'll come out you can just leave that hanging there as long as you're gentle you know obviously all the wiring is still alive assuming you have an um knocked anything off too much yeah so don't zap yourself and try not to short out any of the 12 volt positives on the bodywork because you know you'll blow a fuse or give yourself a little shock you'll be fine 12 volts is fine but um yeah try not to blow the bulbs or whatever other than that it's all pretty easy like i said just be careful when you're putting those um seatbelt covers back on. Right. Hopefully my um, blathering on helps at least one person save a few dollars and um, you know, have fun.